Still out west, but to the crime scene now. The police have increased their presence following a brazen attack on a reputed gangster on Wednesday night. TVJ's Anthony Lugg reports. Here's an image of the bullet-ridden Toyota Axiom motor car in which 41-year-old Omar King Evil Lewis was killed along the Catherine Hall main road in St. James. Lewis, a reputed gangster of Canterbury in the parish, was gunned down shortly after 8 Wednesday night as he left the shop and entered his vehicle. It's reported that a car drove up, three men alighted from the vehicle and opened fire hitting him nine times. When investigators arrived on the scene, they retrieved AK-47, M16 and 9mm spent shells, while one 9mm Taros pistol with 13 rounds of ammunition were recovered from inside Lewis's car. But that was only the beginning for the St. James police who were kept busy following that shooting. We were alerted to explosions that uh, came from the Canterbury area. Uh, we actually had a shooting, we are not exactly sure whether or not this is connected in the Hart Street area. However, the police responded. There was also an incident where uh, a lady was taken from her car in the vicinity. The police responded quite quickly. The, the men who were involved, they actually abandoned the car and the police retrieved the car. Lewis recently returned to Montego Bay after being released from the Horizon Adult Remand Center where he was detained following his deportation from the United States in May this year for gun possession. The St. James gangster fled the island for the U.S. in 2008 after being linked to murder. This latest murder brings the number of people killed in St. James since the start of the year to 256. TVJ News caught up with Member of Parliament for West Central St. James, Marlene Malahufort, who was at the scene of the murder. She again expressed concerns at the killings taking place in the parish. The government will have to take a look at what is required to extend that presence as far and wide as possible. Because within the zone, persons are reporting peace, unprecedented peace, no shootings, no killings. But outside of it, um, no, we're seeing a flare-up. Not so long ago, the entire St. James was experiencing calm with the presence of the zone. But there is a level of brazenness in, in a segment of the society. No respect for law, no respect for order, no respect for authority. Meanwhile, with concerns of reprisal attacks, some schools in St. James closed early Thursday. The police have also increased their presence in several volatile areas. The police is well aware that the fact that this renowned gangster has been killed, then persons would, it would feel that there is likely to be some reprisal. And yes, that is possible. And this is the reason why we would have inserted additional resources in the town of Montego Bay and we ensure that we continue to monitor whilst we carry out investigations to ascertain who are, were the perpetrators of this crime. Anthony Log, TVJ News.